These are an interesting twist and down lights. Instead of using a standard down light frame and putting a, something like a GU10 lamp in, these little lights operate directly at 240 volts. And initially I thought they were going to be the typical low voltage down light with the little circuit module and a little inline uh, power supply, but uh, they're not. They are actually operating straight at 240 volts. And they're available in the colours green. Well, this one's, they're available in a full range of colours. I decided to get a few. This one's green, this one's blue, and this one's warm white. And the power consumption is just over two watts. So uh, let's uh, take one to bits. I'll just put that out of the way. So they come with the typical downlight uh, spring clips, but they're plastic, it's just old, you just don't feel comfortable about putting something like that, stretching these really powerful springs back against plastic to put them through the holes, but having said that, it seems to work. The other downside is that obviously if you, um, you use these lights, um, you, you install them in a new installation then, when they degrade over time, you're not going to be able to just put a new GU10 lamp in, you're going to have to change the whole fitting. Um, and they unscrew like this internally. The reflector is loose and it's a circuit board at the back and it's very reminiscent um, of some of the other lamps I looked at recently where the LEDs and uh, they just use the discrete rectifier um, and everything was mounted in the one circuit board. So let's uh, see if I can pop this out. Yeah, a very similar to the Rampo style lights, the ones, uh... And they've not... The, the LEDs, they've put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 LEDs on, but they've not put them in a nice circle, they've just basically put them where they can fit them, which makes sense. The capacitor is going to be rated probably about 680... 680 nano, 400 volts. Um, this capacitor will not be rated to uh, 400 volts, probably. 50 volts. 47 microfarad. That, uh, indi that uh, explains why there wasn't really much visible flicker, which is quite nice. Uh, this is very similar to... Just one moment. Well, I think I'm actually using that other lamp. Um, in fact, uh, it's very similar to this style of lamp uh, that has the same bridge rectifier arrangement and the um, capacitors on the back, just the pair of capacitors, but scaled down. Uh, and I'm sure the other one, the other lamp, I just, hold on, I'm going to go and get that lamp. I'm going to unplug it. Yeah, it's not the same. Uh, how does the circuit board size compare? It's very similar circuit board size, but they've rearranged the LEDs somewhat. I wonder if this is a newer version, a newer style of that circuit board. But it's the same sort of component layout. Um, what have they got in the way of uh, components in the back? Is this 680 nano as well? This is 820 nano. And they're using a 47 megafarad 50 volt capacitor again. I get the feeling these are out of the same factory. Uh, it's quite interesting that instead of actually putting them into the housing though, they're actually putting them straight into the downlighter itself, the actual casing. So the circuitry is just as you'd expect. It's got this little discharge resistor um, across the... Uh, Capacitor. I'll, I'll doodle the values out. It's not. It's going to be very similar to a lot of the lamps I've done before, but it's worth you know doing it. There's no harm. Interestingly, I do have an uh, indication of what's live and what's neutral. They've used the correct colours too in this super thin flex. Three hundred volt, one amp flex. Oh, that's inspiring. Twenty AWG. 
So it's going uh, in through that. The live is going through the capacitor, which is, was that 680 nano, wasn't it? Yes, 680 nano. And it does have a tiny little discharge resistor across it. Uh, I'm guessing the two discharge resistors are probably going to be the same. I'll just take a look at that. Hunt the discharge resistor. 470 nano, and let's use the other one the same. 470 nano. Oh, those are uh, the coloured LEDs, so it's quite nice you can actually look right into them. Yeah, quite interesting. They're the usual uh, chip with a... Um, hold on, I'll, I'll draw you what that actually looks like. That's quite an interesting idea. So, find a random LED. It's got uh, the square package of the LED with the solder pad at each end and the round window in the middle. And because the LEDs aren't covered in phosphor, I can actually see there's this strange effect where they've kind of curved down like that and gone back up. And they've got the little chip mounted there just bounded, bonded straight across onto there, and then diagonally offset, bonded onto there. Yep. So the chip has the two diagonal bonds, which is very common of the gallium nitride chips. Yeah, it's nice to be able to actually see into the LED. That's that's a novel twist, because of course it is the coloured and not the the white. So much gets hidden under the phosphor. But, uh, so that's a 470 nanofarad capacitor. Uh, 470k resistor across the 680 nanofarad. It's through a discrete bridge rectifier. Um, I'm guessing the neutral then is just going straight to the rectifier. Yes, it is. The output is got a capacitor across it, which was the 47 micro at 50 volt. And there's 12 LEDs. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 at 3 volts each. So they're going to be about 36 volts total. So the 50 volts fine for that. And then really after that, I don't think it's got a resistor in series of LEDs. I think they're just straight across that. Yes, they are. And then it's just the ring of LEDs, 12 LEDs. Yeah, it seems to work okay. It's a nice simple circuit. Yeah, it's a, it's a novel arrangement, but as I say, it means if one of these fails, then you have to change the whole fitting. But having said that, they're not that expensive in a sense. They're, they're only as expensive as the whole, as a replacement lamp. So uh, I can't actually quite remember what these cost. It wasn't really dramatic. It was typical eBay-ish type prices. So yeah, it's novel, and it's quite nice and available in the different colours as well, and it's very modular. Probably hackable as well, if you wanted to make a lower voltage version of one, you could actually probably uh, make your own circuit board and put it into just the housing. Yeah, it's got lots of possibilities, and you know, uh, they're quite neat too, yeah. It's alright. <laughs>